Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here and welcome back for another video. All right, this video, I'm gonna show you how to blow your back up, man. All right, this is a complete back workout for mass. So we're gonna be hitting it from a lot of different angles. And here's the thing, about 15 total sets. I wanna make sure that you stimulate your back. You really, really focus on hitting the lats, the rhomboids. We're even gonna touch on some traps a little bit and some lower back. So this is gonna be a great workout. So if you're looking at building some posterior muscle, this is the video for you. Before we get into the actual exercises, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, man, please subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you click on that little bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. One last thing, I've got a couple free four week workouts. If you're interested, I've got a lean muscle building workout and a four week big arm workout. If you want either of those then comment below and let me know and I will send you a link so you can access your free workout. All right, now let's get into this back workout. First thing I like to do, really stretch out the lats. So we're gonna be doing a standing cable lat pull through. All right, so the cool thing about these, you really wanna make sure you're getting a good stretch in your lats. Keep your core tight and drive the weight, drive the bar with your elbows. So go ahead and fix your arm in a fixed position. Lock that dude in, man and just keep it there. The reason I say that, a lot of people will bend their arms. You don't wanna bend your arms when you're doing this. You really want to, if you happen to bend your arms then the weight's too heavy, you wanna make sure your lats are doing all of the work. If you're starting to bend with each rep, then you can start working your biceps. I don't want you to work your biceps with this workout. Obviously, biceps are a secondary mover when you're doing back work. However, I want you to focus on your mind muscle connection, really focus on maximizing your back, your lats, your rhomboids, when you're doing all of this stuff. So the very first one we're gonna be doing, like I said, is designed to just warm up your lats. Nice big stretch at the top, nice big contraction at the bottom. All right, so really focus at the bottom on squeezing those lats together. Right at the end, when you get down here low, Squeeze those together, slowly release on the way up until you get a nice good stretch at the top. Do these slow and controlled and high reps. That's the one thing you're noticing, I'm using high reps. And again, we're starting by warming up the lats. This is also gonna give you a little shoulder mobility warm up because the next thing we're gonna go into is a pull up. I like to do pull ups a little earlier in the back workout, that way you're not so fatigued and if you're doing pull-ups last, you may not be able to do very many. I want you to shoot for 10 to 12 reps. If you're just a beast with pull-ups and you can do 15 to 20, do 15 to 20, all right? But the goal being 10 to 12, not really less than that. So once you're warmed up with the standing lat pull-throughs, now we're gonna do an overhand grip pull-up. If you have shoulder issues, one thing I really want you to focus on, if your shoulders bother you when you're doing an overhand pull-up, rotate those wrists so that your palms are facing one another. This is considered a neutral grip. That's gonna create some external rotation of the humerus, which is gonna give you a little bit more clearance in the shoulder joint. So that will relieve some of the tension on your shoulders, get some of that irritation out. So again, if you have healthy shoulders, that's not an issue. Go ahead and try these overhand, but if you do have any shoulder issues, then just rotate and use that neutral grip. So really focus when you're doing these on a full range of motion because I don't want you to stop right here, come all the way back down, stop right here. Really try to drive that chest up, get those elbows, make those the drivers, pull, pull, pull with the elbows and try to squeeze those into your sides. All right, that's what I really want you to focus on. Really engage those lats when you do that. If you're just doing a really small range of motion, guess what? You are gonna be incorporating a lot of biceps. Your biceps are doing a lot of the initial work. I want you to work these lats, focus on the elbows again, being the drivers, elbows down, elbows down, elbows down, chest up, elbows down. If you're doing that 
you're really gonna activate the lats a lot more and you're gonna fill them a lot more. Now we're going into a cable lawnmower row. You'll notice this is, this is from the lowest cable position. So a lay, low cable lawnmower row, if I can get it out. Kind of a tongue twister, man. All right, and what I'm doing here are unilateral movements, one side at a time. When you're doing these, lock that core in place because the last thing I want you to do is rotate back. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep your core tight, shoulders square, stretch the lat, pull again with the elbows. Every time you're working the back, think about the elbows. Elbows are the drivers. Get those elbows back. Nice full extension to get into that stretch and drive that elbow back again. So you wanna do each side at a time. One side, alternate, go to the left. Uh, right side, go to the left, or left side, go to the right. We're gonna get into another cable row. So here's the thing that's a little bit different. We're raising the cable up. This is more of a mid row. So the low cable lawnmower row is a low back row. Low back row, now we're going to a mid row. So we're doing a lot of different angles I'm really just wanting you to hit the stretch and contraction with the back from a lot of different planes of motion, a lot of different angles. That's what we're focused on to just really make sure we get a lot of those fibers because one of the most neglected body parts from, you know, with everybody is the posterior muscles, the back muscles. Everybody focuses on the anterior because that's what they see in the mirror. When it comes to back, they'll do a few lat pull downs. They'll do a few little exercises for the back, kind of go through the motions, not really focusing on the mind muscle connection and not really maximizing their efforts when they're working their back. However, I want equal balance. You're working your chest, you're working your abs, you're working your shoulders like that. So you need to put that same kind of effort into your back. Again, we're going into a mid now. With the mid, you can do unilateral if you want, but I am using both. One other thing you really wanna focus on, again, when you're doing both, I like to lean forward, elbows every time. I keep doing this in my back videos. If you haven't seen any of my other ones, just I'm gonna say it in this one just in case. As if you're a puppet, man, you got strings on your elbows and someone is pulling those elbows back. That's kind of the mental image I like. Squeeze the crap out of the bar and don't pull with your arms. That's what most people do. You'll see most people working back, uh, when they're working their back, they're pulling with their arms, activating a lot of biceps. Once you squeeze the bar, then focus, initiate the movement from the elbows and focus on that mind muscle connection. Really get those elbows back there and squeeze the lats at the back. So when you're doing the low row, I like coming low right here to my hip. Mid, I like coming to my rib, rib cage, almost sternum, not quite that high, but right center of the abs. The four abs that you have here, hit that with the bar. So again, we're getting different angles with these different rows, okay? So you've got a lat movement that we started with. We've got another good lat movement with the pull-ups. We've got two row variations, a low row, a mid row, now we're gonna finish up with a unilateral lap pull down. So the thing about the unilateral, I really like the extra stretch that you see me get. Use the cable here, keep your core tight, same thing, and keep your shoulders square when you're doing this. Meaning, don't rotate all the way and then come down all the way and come down. All right, you don't wanna work your sides. You're not trying to work your obliques by stretching and crunching. You're basically wanting to lock in place, stretch at the lats. Good lat stretch here, and pull, pull, elbows, elbows, and a good lat stretch, uh, lat contraction. So you're gonna do that with each side. So again, you've got a lot of exercises. We're doing a couple pull-up variations, a pull down, a pull up, lat pull, standing lat pull, and then we're also doing a couple row variations. So again, we're hitting the back from a lot of different angles. May seem overkill, but the back is very complex. Fibers run all different directions. You've got lats coming this way, you've got rhomboids popping up the sides, right down the center, you got some spinal erectors, then you've got your traps, high traps, low traps. There's a lot going on with your back. So we're trying to stimulate as many muscle fibers as we can to really maximize this back workout. So we're not doing any of the heavy stuff as far as the deadlifts, 
bent over barbell rows. So we'll save that for another back workout. This is just a lot of rowing and a lot of pulling. So that's what I want you to do with this workout. If you have any questions about any of it at all, any of the exercises, if you're doing something and you're not feeling it in your back, send me a comment, man, let me know. I wanna make sure that you're doing this correctly because at the end of the day, once you lock in on that back, once you figure out how to activate the lats when you're pulling instead of your biceps, it's a game changer. It's gonna make a big difference on how your lats feel, how they start to develop, and your whole physique is gonna change. So definitely make sure you're doing them correctly. Definitely make sure all these exercises, they're not fatiguing your biceps, but they're fatiguing your lats. You feel the lactic acid in your lats because we are doing some higher rep ranges with some of these exercises as well. Doing some lower rep ranges and some higher rep ranges. I like the high reps when we're working on hypertrophy. So the goal being mass, hypertrophy, muscle building. So make sure you're doing these correctly. And again, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, man, I'm just gonna remind you, please subscribe to my channel. That being said, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it. God bless.